Hi there guys and girls, I just wanted to talk about MKX on the day that I get it and what I'm going to do. My plans for MKX on the day that I acquire the Mortal Kombat software, the latest title. Um, so I'm just going to take you through what my plans are on launch day for Mortal Kombat X. Um, basically, I get up in the morning, I, I may shower. I may not, I might just run out the door to the game store and pick up the game. Nah, I'll shower. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'll get up early, shower, eat, go up to the shop, which is close by, um, and I'll be picking up, definitely, on, unless something happens to their delivery, but on the 15th in Australia, and a lot of people co were confused about this, the 15th in Australia is the 14th in America. Remember, we're ahead in time. So it's a worldwide release day. That's why we get it on the 15th. Our 15th is your 14th. So on the 15th, I'm picking up from my local EB Games the Xbox One version of Mortal Kombat X uh, Collector's Edition. So I'm getting that from EB, definitely, day one. From JB, who are right across from EB, actually, in the shopping center, which is funny enough, I'm getting the PC version, uh, special edition of Mortal Kombat X, the one that comes in the Steelbook. Um, now, for all you PS4 people, don't worry, I've got you covered. I've got you covered. I'm getting the PS4 Australian course edition from uh, online. So EB Games Online, you had to, it was a special, you had to order online to get the course edition in Australia. They did have some very limited quantities. I'm getting that one. I am also getting a, P, uh, a sorry, Xbox One course edition, but that's coming from the United States. So just to cover my ass, I ordered two because it looked like Australia wasn't going to get a course one for a while. So I made sure to get one of each console. So I've got a an Xbox One course edition coming from the United States, but that's being, excuse me, that's being shipped on the 14th, so I won't have that launch day, I'll probably get that a day or the next day or something, unless they ship it early, but it looks like they're not going to do that. So day one, I will definitely have the PC version of Mortal Kombat X and the Xbox One version, uh, collector's edition version of Mortal Kombat X. Don't know about the Australian PS4 course edition. I don't know when I'll be getting that because I don't know how EB Online works. I have a feeling they're going to ship it on the day. But if they ship it the day before, I might get it uh, on the launch day, but maybe later on. So, uh, yeah. So, okay. So I'm just going through everything in my head, trying to keep order. <laughs> order in the chaos. Um, so... Definitely we'll be grabbing the Xbox One version on launch day, and that's the one I will be streaming. For sure, 100%, the Xbox One version. Uh, the only reason is because that's the version I'll have. PC, I don't really play. It takes up a lot of my hard drive. You know, I'd have to shift things around, and I, I already have to do that anyway because I have to make, I want to stream like buggery. So I've got to make a whole lot of room on the computer and reorganize things so I'm ready for launch day. Um, I've already reworked my graphics for Twitch, so, uh, this is what it's going to look like. This is what you'll see on launch day. Um, it's kind of similar to how it was, but, uh, you know, I spiced it up a bit with a few new graphics and things like that. Um, and like I said, uh, basically what's going to happen is I'm going to go to the store, pick up the game, come home. I'm going to quickly jump on camera here, unbox do my, uh, the quickest ever unboxing because I want to play the game. Uh, then as soon as I'm, I'm off there, I'm going to jump straight onto Twitch and start streaming. While I'm streaming, or while the stream is starting up and people are joining, I'm assuming people are going to join, I'm going to be editing the unboxing footage on my laptop at the same time. Because, you know, normally I just edit on my one computer or play on my one But this way I can do two things at once. And then hopefully I can upload that and stream at the same time. Not sure about that, but we'll see. Um, that's the plan. So get the game, come home, unbox, 
jump on uh, Twitch, start streaming, and uh, edit and get that unboxing up uh, ASAP. Uh, I guess, uh, you know, I'm not sure how the, how the streaming will go. Like, normally I only get, you know, 30 people or something, but I'm assuming with MKX I'll get a lot more. But uh, I'm not sure if people will want to join because they'll either have the game themselves or they'll be getting it within the next few days and want to play it themselves and they may not want to see spoilers. So I don't know how that's going to go. But I'm assuming people are going to join. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I've set up like uh, notifications and things, you know, like when you get new followers and things like that. I didn't have any of that stuff set up. And I've set up donating if people want to donate to me and, um, you know, all that sort of stuff. Just trying to, you know, ramp it up and make it look a bit more cool. The other thing is, uh, for any of you who have been in my streams, my sound's never been that good, and it's because, you know, I thought it was decent, but after hearing it uh, a few times, like, hearing it back's okay, but there's times when it turns to garbage, when too much is going on. So, I'm getting a Blue Yeti microphone, and hopefully I'll be getting that sometime this week, and uh, I'll be configuring that and seeing how that goes and uh, that should fix audio issues and I'm going to wear a headset so it's going to be a nice clear audio stream as well as uh, clear graphics. Uh, a while ago I, I, I set up uh, Injustice and MK9 and uh, was able to get it going at 60 frames a second without frame loss at 720p so that's fantastic so I will be streaming in 60 frames a second with good audio now. Uh, this is all a plan, uh, you know, touch wood, wherever there's some wood, you know, hopefully nothing goes wrong, this is what I want to do, but, um, yeah, one more thing I've got to say too, the awesome people over at PDP have given me a Mortal Kombat X fight pad, so I will have that too, I, I, I'm assuming that's going to arrive here tomorrow, because we just had the Easter break, uh, literally the controller got here, uh, and, and it was Easter Thursday that night and the truck was driving around because I, I tracked it and it's like 7 o'clock it's in the truck and then he must have just went home and I was like God, bastard you know? and then it was like uh, Good Friday Saturday Sunday Monday and uh, oh Monday night here now so I'm assuming it's going to come tomorrow um, yeah so I'll, ha I'll also have an MKX Xbox One fight pad and uh, I'll be doing an independent review of that too. But uh, I'll probably be using that a lot on the day to play MKX with, to be fully outfitted. You know, so I'm really excited. This is going to be a lot of fun. The other cool thing is uh, I don't have to do my voluntary job that day. Normally, I have to work that day. And I spoke to the people I work for. I said, I'm not coming in. <laughs> I said, I don't care what you say, I am not coming in. Uh, but they like me, I'm, I'm, I'm a good volunteer worker, so they uh, helped me out and said I could have the day off, which is great. Um, so I'm really excited. Um, oh, also, yeah, uh, I'll have, that's the Wednesday, the 15th here, so I'll have that day off. I'll be streaming all day until I can't stay awake anymore. But the next day I do have to do my volunteer job, which is Thursday. The day after that, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, that's going to be all streaming, baby. All streaming MKX. Oh, and when I get home from my, my job on uh, Thursday as well. All streaming MKX. Because I want to hit this game motherfucking hard, man. Test your luck. Test your mind. That fucking crypt with the puzzles and shit. That's fucking awesome, man. Um, yeah. Oh, man. All those fatalities, brutalities. The story mode. Living Towers. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be really cool. So if you guys are on board, come visit me on launch day and uh, stop by Twitch and say hi. Um, depending on where you are in the world, uh, I'm guessing I'd probably be on about... Um, I think for a sec. Maybe about 10 a.m. my time, I reckon. 10 a.m. in the morning, around then, you know. I'll probably send uh, tweets out about it. But uh, I'm guessing that's about the time that I'll be on um, streaming MKX. And, um, you know, we're so close to the game. It's like Tuesday... Uh, I don't know. Uh, 9 o'clock. Uh, it's, it's, it's Monday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Then Wednesday. And Wednesday, a week from Wednesday, is launch day, baby. 
It's it's just over a week away. Ooh, man, that's fucking cool. Um, one thing that was annoying, I was watching that uh, Amazon stream just before. I was watching the archive because I didn't catch the whole stream, and I wanted to see a bit more of the Test Your Might Tower, and uh, I, and they couldn't get it working. I was like, what the fuck? They were just trying to select it and it wouldn't work. It's like, shh, shh, shh. I guess it was a bug in the build or something. So they didn't show Test Your Might in the Amazon stream, which kind of sucks. But uh, I guess it's kind of good because, you know, there I was trying to watch it and spoil it for myself because I couldn't resist because I love Test Your Might. <laughs> so, so at least now on day one, I get more of a surprise. You know, from what I saw on Test Your Might, uh, in uh, what stream was it? Oh, it was the IGN video. They showed a lot of Test Your Might. Oh, it's so cool. There's so many, so many uh, different Test Your Mites now. There's like pine boards and mahogany totem and birch sculpture and uh, walnut something. Walnut sculpture. There's all these different types of wood or different types of material that you get to break. And it looked like the tower was like. I don't know, 30 floors high or 50 floors high. That's really cool. That's really cool. And I'm really looking forward to playing through that tower. And I'm really, really looking forward to this crypt, man. They've said there's puzzles in it now. You, to get through the crypt, there's puzzles. It's not just, you know, pay the coins and it opens and you get the thing. There's, there's like puzzles to solve and stuff. That sounds wicked, man. This game sounds like a lot of fun. I, I, I have a feeling I'm going to be really playing hard with this. Um, during this um, this coming stream and I'm hoping too uh, with the guys I know uh, I haven't even spoken to them about this I'm just going to say it here on video I'm hoping maybe uh, if MKAU Gaming has I'm sure they will MKAU Gaming and Komidogu I'm hoping we can have live matches I think that'll be exciting and uh, I'm hoping I don't know how it's going to work with this region lock guys I have no clue people are telling me Xbox One doesn't have region locks because of the servers or something. If that's true, you know, I'm hoping to play a whole lot of online with you guys. I'm going to do my best to do that. Hopefully, if it doesn't work with the Aussie one, when I get the American PS4 one, I'm hoping it'll work. And But we'll have to wait and see. I won't, I won't know until I've got it. But uh, I'm going to do my best to play online with you guys. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a really fun, fun time. And I just wanted to let you know, these are my plans for MKX launch day. And it's not far now. And that's it, guys. I'm really excited for the game. And uh, thank you for all your support and watching all my videos. And I'm hoping I will see you guys on MKX launch day, April 15th, my time. See you then. Peace. Peggy 18. You're all here because you deserve to be. So it's time for your generation to step up. Remember that. Do not interfere, Jackson Briggs. Go back into hiding. I'll take it under advisement. That knocked some of my rust off. We took your father's arms. We will take all of you. That was for you, Dad. Now who's being overprotective? Gotcha! It's good to be back.